house now. You can live with me. Um, can I have a bed? bed. Yeah. Your bed? Yeah. Well, I want to have the other yeah. seat. Thank you. Come on, mm -hmm. Are we here? Yes, we are. And also, I have a whole bunch of tomatoes. To be honest, when you touch the soil first, you're like, oh my god, oh, oh, there's soil behind my nails. It's an urban community garden where we grow food, where we grow plants for pollinators. We were looking for a new space and it happened to be that this um, lot was empty. Part of the garden for I think three years now and I, I, I grew up on the farm. I grew up in a small village on the farm um, in Poland. My parents moved to small town, then I moved to big city to study. Then again, I've moved to an even bigger city, which is London. I was by myself. I didn't know anyone. The point of my life where I was the lowest. Coming here and doing things together with people, making decisions together, taking care of the space, um, which was otherwise unused, unloved. garden enabled me to finally feel myself but also actually connect with plants and connect with with actually probably with like with my background um, so that was a very safe space and I've realized that a garden attracts people who are non-judgmental um, who yeah who create that safe space who um, will support you but who also um, carry an amazing knowledge. I think it's really nice to work with plants in soil in any form of nature you can find in London. You feel a lot calmer. I can't really like explain this to you like logically, but you just feel a bit, a bit more kind of centered, grounded. To to the the more the most yellowy tomatoes, right? But they need to be eaten on the spot. It's, it's almost unbelievable that this, this just used to be a car park. And now look at it, it's like a, a beautiful little hub of nature. Maybe people fed up with concrete, glass, car noise, and etc. And et but there's this amazing saying, under the concrete there is the soil. <laughs> <laughs>